You're watching the North Carolina Player Show on Fan Media Network. Last thing, I thought about Coach Smith as I was putting on my hat for the interview. Coach Smith didn't like us wearing hats inside. And I remember doing an interview because it was before practice. And uh, I didn't take a shower. And Keenan Transit was a company, big company. Lee Schaffer, a former player, uh -huh. uh, worked there. And I was friends with his son. I worked there. So I had a Keenan Transport hat on. And I'm wearing the hat the interview. And I go into the locker room, get ready for practice. And the interview is on, I don't know, the news back then, the next day. And Coach Smith uh, calls me in his office. Yeah, Matthew, I saw the interview on whatever, <laughs> W, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and you had a hat on. Uh, we don't wear hats in inter interviews here at North Carolina. And I'm like, yes, sir. Message received. <laughs> did, did, did you guys, uh, did he allow you to wear hats when you played? I never saw I never saw guys with a hat on, so I I assumed that he didn't let us yeah. wear baseball caps. He, and you know, like you had to be clean shaved. Right. He wouldn't approve of all this hair on my face. Uh, he allowed James had to, Worthy. He allowed James Worthy to have a beer, and that was a big debate. And if you look on the front cover of Sports Illustrated, it's behind me. Mm -hmm. There's a picture. There's a picture of the starting. Well. Me, Sam Perkins, Jimmy Black, and, and Michael George, uh, and James Worthy. Michael wasn't on the front cover because Coach Smith wasn't going to put a freshman on the front cover of a magazine, right? Right, right. Here's the best player of all time. Didn't make the cut because he hadn't <laughs> played a game yet. Right. So, but the debate was, do you let James grow a beard or not? And James shaved for that picture. But after that, he, he let him grow it out because James had, you know, a lot of... A lot of African Americans have the the bumps yes. uh -huh. because of that the the hair, right? Right. Um, and how coarse the hair is, and how it turns in and gets bumps when you shave. So he let James yes. have a a beard uh, in 1982. And you know what? I look. I think back on it. I think Kevin Madden was the same way. So Kevin Madden was the only other player that had facial hair during yeah. our, uh, our game. How do you think Coach Smith would adjust coaching in today's game? Man, you know, I think about that a lot. Um, and, you know, my high school coach told me, he said, you know, Coach Smith would spend a lot of time recruiting coaches, uh, you know, as far as getting to know their programs, their systems. I don't think he would coach a. I don't think he would recruit through the AUC. I think that was that was just too much. First, bad basketball. Uh, you know, not enough fundamentals going teaching the kids, and not to say that a. There's kids out there that does have right. you know fundamentals, right. but right. you know, I think he would. I think he would still coach through the high school. He would recruit through the high school coaches. But what about uh, facial hair, wearing hats? Uh, oh tattoos. yeah, the, the, the braids and the dreads, uh, headbands. I think because I think because he's a, a brilliant mind, he would he would adjust. Yeah, but um, it, I, you know, it still it would still be tough. I think uh, because yeah. he was more worried about when we were done playing basketball, what other people would perceive us as. It wasn't Correct. about. It wasn't about. Because, you know, like, I mean, we in 2020 and there's, there's racial injustice and things like that going on and stereotypes and people assuming that you're a certain way because you may have a tattoo on your neck or on your arm right. and you got dreads and things like that. So I think he, I think he would adjust to it, uh, but he would also let young men know why he want them to Carry them, carry themselves a certain way, dress a certain way, and be presentable. Do you have a tattoo? Yes, but I didn't get a tattoo until my fifth year in the league. Yeah. So, at, by that time, I was, I was able to take care of myself and take care of my family. So right. it wasn't right. up to someone to to choose who I was because I had a tattoo, and it's and it's, it's covered up. You know, it's, it's you know, a, you know, I got one on my arm right here and then one on my chest. So what is you can't really see them. 
well, my first tattoo ever was my oldest son. Uh, he was six months and I thought it was a great portrait of him. Uh, and then my other one is the symbol, a North Carolina logo, the interlocking NC yeah. like on your chair. Yeah. Uh, I have that logo because yeah. I always wanted North Carolina to be with Mike. Mike always had the Carolina blue shorts on. I was like, look, I'm gonna always have my tattoo with me. So there you go. Yeah, that's good stuff, man. I don't have a tattoo. Uh, and at, at 58, I don't think I'll be getting one anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting any more either. I'm yeah. done. Hey, George, uh, always a pleasure. Uh, again, you're watching the North. You're watching the North Carolina Player Show on Fan Media Network. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I hope 2021 is is an awesome year for you, for me, for North Carolina basketball, and everyone that's watching this show. To host a player show or appear as a player on a player show, simply create a profile on Fan Media's iOS app or website. Select your teams and make a short intro video on your phone. Show hosts, reporters, former players, and superfans can use our Get Verified feature and make an intro video as well, and our mobile newsroom staff will reach out.